Hi Cancer, welcome to your February forecast. Now let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Cancer, you're waiting for a um, like a lump sum of money to come, but it seems like you've been really getting so impatient. I feel like some of you are also waiting for a claim, and it's like you're getting a little bit um, antsy with the situation. You don't know if it's still going to come or not. A part of you feels a little bit hopeless, but anyway, let's see. If you're also with a fire sign, I feel like you will somehow find out that your partner has been lying to you and there's like a betrayal, okay? There's like an affair that's been happening and ongoing right behind you. Okay, right now, um, Cancer, you are struggling financially, and you don't quite know where is the right possible direction for you. You've been so lost, they've been going through a depression for quite some time already, and you're all there looking for some guiding light, okay? Now, there is also a uh, travel which you have to make or which you have to you know to take um within the next two days or two weeks or two months it will push through okay it will go through but i feel like um it's not gonna pan out the way you expected it to be and not to mention that you'll f somehow feel like what i said if you're with a fire sign that your partner has been lying to you or deceiving you or there's something going on you know right um right behind you and uh, you feel like you can't always monitor your partner all the time but your instinct has been nudging you and telling you that there are all these red flags and something is definitely fishy now upon this you will be feeling a little bit lost and you know depressed as well and by the time that you get back to your to your house it's your partner you're planning to talk okay you're planning to sit down and it's like you want to discuss things <clears throat> but unfortunately this person will be in denial and instead that they will be turning the tables against you and that they're just gonna make it appear that you're just being paranoid and being unfair to them as well now <clears throat> I also feel like you need to be a little bit more on guard okay with their gaslighting and um, you know with everything that they're gonna be you know just to turn around just sorry just to turn things around and make it as it's you it, it's not them okay so make sure that you will be more mentally aware of the discussion and possibly arguments that you're going to be having because i don't really feel like this person is going to be letting you go but i don't really feel like they don't have you know i don't really feel like they have any plans of stopping of whatever it is that they're currently doing because they're enjoying it you know when someone is actually getting away with the things with this slight things 
that they are doing currently uh don't expect them to you know don't expect them to stop don't expect them to feel conscientious they're just gonna make it as it's you you know you're the one who's at fault here because you're always away you're always um busy working and you're always um you know like uh, busy attending others and i am not your priority so what do you expect me to do okay so this person will be acting like um you know like a very immature child and instead of them apologizing for hurting you because you know they know they, they they're 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 already cornered so they're going to be using a different tactic this time you know being arrogant and being too confrontational and then yelling at each other or like uh you know uh bickering back and forth with the same old thing that you know even if you will cut off this person's hands or fingers they're not gonna admit that they are really cheating on you so there is another way for you to catch this person or for them to you know to admit that huh okay um, whatever it is that they will be accusing you, that's the one that they are actually doing, okay? And if you actually notice that when someone is very guilty, they're the one who has a lot to say, okay? He has a lot of baggages. It's because of their insecurities. Now, let's take a look at your finances because there is something that you've been waiting for and you're feeling a little bit hopeless that it's still going to come. But definitely this month, it will be you know it will be granted if there is a check loan release or like a remortgaging of your place or of your house that you're expecting or that you are waiting for definitely you'll be receiving the check and the release of the funds okay or if there is like a claim insurance reward bonus or whatsoever okay as long as it's uh, financially related it will be coming your way plus there will be some discontentment i mean your job right now is stable but you feel like you're sometimes you're standing on the edge or you're skating in a thin ice and you're all you're already looking for a change. You want to look for something different. You want to look for something um you want to look for something that will you know, that will be giving you more purpose and more and what do you call this? Um more meaning. Okay, because you've already, um, I mean, you've already utilized all of your skills and you've proven yourself to this company that you're really a good worker, but somehow you already know everything about whatever it is that you do and you're so ready, okay, for another role. Now, you're also getting so sick and tired of the politics that's been going on in your company right now, so you're also thinking about moving to a different environment or a different company or a different department and you want to go to the next level you feel like you're ready and you're born you're ready you know to do this so you will also be traveling for training conference exhibition or some short course thing that you will be taking within the next three weeks or three months and it will be given to you or awarded to you by your company you know just to compensate all of your, cont your contributions to the company so if you're thinking about moving or resigning <laughs> then how you have to think long and hard again about this whole um thing because i feel like you know their condition is if ever that you're going to be resigning after this training and after this short-term course that you're going to be taking, which the company will be paying for you, then you have to reimburse everything, all of the costs that the company will be giving to you. But if you decide to stay or if you will be um, changing your mind, then you will get more compensated. Plus, there will be an increment that will be given to you. Okay, and more programs, more trainings to come soon because your company wants to tell you that that is how we value loyalty. Okay, so I feel like that's fair enough. Even though that you're so sick and tired of seeing the same old people around you and they're, you know, like they're ass kissers or they would, they, they're um, kind of competing against you and they hate your guts. I mean, come to think of it, you're not there for them. 
you are there to do your job you are there to to work be efficient okay and be productive you're not there to run for the campaign of miss friendship or mr friendship okay so set aside your you know your emotional issues with your co-workers and sometimes there are some people that will really push you to the edge okay but the main thing here is keeping ignore keep on ignoring them all right and your financial stability and your financial status will also start coming back around more now when it comes to your love life if you're with a fire sign right now or sometimes some of you i'm also picking up virgo um if you're with a virgo right now oh see it came out um it seems like there will also be some issues about finances or this person will be taking back whatever they have given to you okay let's say for example that they're not gonna like how you've been treating them you want to break up or you want to separate you want to divorce them and then they're just gonna say okay then give everything that i have given to you you know and then you can go which is at this point if you will be leaving your place or if you're gonna be leaving your marriage or your or your relationship it's so impossible for you to provide everything or to give everything back you know to that person so they know that you don't have any other choice but to stay okay now i also feel like this person has been flirting around with somebody that they are working with see and it seems like there will be a sudden turn of events that if before you you've been trusting this person truly now you will be much more aware of your surroundings and i also feel like you will be catching this person you know whether they're um a fire sign or an earth sign that you know the other person that they're currently seeing with if it's possible okay i'm picking up somebody around them that is pregnant and this is what will be infuriating you because you have tried to do your best and you have tried to you know to communicate well with the uh, with this person but unfortunately this person just led you into this kind of empty promises on the other hand um your finances and your stability you will learn how to love yourself more and you will learn how to save you for yourself more so while if if ever if you cannot move away from this person or if you cannot separate for now or leave your house be a little bit more smart this time and save up more money for you because i feel like now that this oh and one more thing if you already know how this person is i feel like you need to hold down your tongue you know don't say anything bite down your tongue and try to contain the information for now okay until you're fully ready because like let's say for example that you're not yet financially ready at this point and you really want to leave the relationship and then you're just going to break it off to them and say i'm leaving you you know or i'm leaving i i really don't want this kind of situation anymore and you already know how they are so if suddenly they know that you don't have you know enough resources to be in your own they're gonna try and use that against you so while you will be preparing yourself so you need to be a little bit more smart this time while you're trying to prepare yourself to become more independent from this person don't say anything else until then when you're finally ready when you ha already have your own place you found your place you know bought your, your furniture and stuff like that and this person couldn't really you know hold against you or hold anything against you then that's the time that you will be breaking up the news but definitely there is like an ongoing betrayal that's already happening okay if you're hoping or thinking will this person be changing you already know the answer to that i feel like it's just going to be like a never-ending cycle since that this person is a pathological liar and i feel like a bit of a narcissist as well because instead of realizing their mistakes or instead of feeling so ashamed of whatever it is that they are doing to you they're gonna make it appear that you made me do this you know because you're always away i'm not your priority so what do you expect me to do you know so um 
It's time for you to free yourself up from something that is no longer working or serving you well. It's time to cut off the toxicity. Okay? Meanwhile, singles. Looks like you're gonna have a very active sex life. Okay? And I feel like some of you, if you've been like celibate, or if you've been like... Hmm, staying away, you know, from the dating game or from the market, it seems like you're going to be missing some of the good old fun, okay? You'll be back in touch with some of your friends, and I feel like you're going to have the first week of February, you will be meeting someone who is a little bit full of themselves, okay? And, well, it seems like you're going to have sex, okay? And I don't really feel like it's going to be lasting until the third week of this month that you will be meeting someone who's older than you and someone who's also going to be catching your attention and you will find this person a little bit more exciting but the thing here is you're into a love triangle i also feel like the person that you're going to be meeting that you'll be so attracted to is bisexual Okay, so if you're not into that kind of thing, then be very careful. Now, let's take a look at your health. Um, parasitic issues, or infections. Oh, oh, and uh, be careful with your kneecap, especially if it's a little bit swollen. You've been having some problems walking, uh, kneeling, or if you've been getting bruises all of a sudden. And if... I feel like some of you, there's a part of your body that feels so swollen that when you eat, you know, just touch it lightly, it will just, you know, it, it hurts so bad. Or the more you press your finger on it, the more you try to, you know, see or check if it's, you know, like um, hard or if it's moving or something like that, the more it gets bigger. Um, you need to go and check out with your doctor because I feel like that's an underlying cyst or polyp or something like that. Okay, it's um, it's already a sign. Now, aside from that, if you're also a smoker, expect that you... And one more thing, you need to, you know, start visiting your dentist. And um, I feel like you will have very bad cuff this month. Okay, so... You know, it's much better to have clean living, you know, um, if you can slowly stay away from smoking, good, okay, because definitely it's not really nice to have someone, especially if you're single, that's been coughing um, so bad, okay, you'll have some problems with your bronchial part or you're going to have some bronchitis uh, or some bronchial issues this month. Okay, some of you will be very um, conscious about your uh, appearance. Okay, uh, some of you are also thinking about having some breast augmentation, um, some works on your face. Oh, and butt lift. Okay, and some of you, are, it's very minor surgery, but it's all related to vanity. Make sure that you will be uh, researching everything, okay? All the consequences of that right before going through with it. Because there will be some, especially the breast augmentation, there will be a lot of prolonged um, aftermath or consequences of that. I mean, you know, like... Um, there's nothing wrong if you want to look beautiful, but if it's going to be compromising most of your future, your your balances, and your, you know, it will, if it's going to be like adding up more miseries to you, might as well just go natural, okay? And you will also have some problems sleeping, okay? You're going to have some sleepless nights. Most of the time, you're going to be feeling so lethargic, unfocused, and not really determined during the daytime. And when you're at night, it's like you're going to be like an owl. Okay? Now, looking at your uh, oracle cards, it looks like 
You will be meeting someone who will be giving you some guiding light and words of wisdom, you know, to guide you with your journey at this point. And it looks like you're going to be guided. You know, the path is clear, the road is paved, and I don't see any roadblocks or any obstacles that you're going to be incurring, at least, you know, for the next three more months. Now, there is a possibility of you being distracted as I feel like when you cross to the other side of the bridge, there will be some people who will try to block you, distract you, or detour you, okay? And might cause you a delay. Remember, you have to stay focused, you have to stay on track. And definitely, you're going to be reaching the top, okay? It's going to be like a long, hard, steepy journey going to the top. But keep on going, even if you have to take it slow. When you're tired, just rest, but never quit. All right? Anyway, that's it for you for this month, Cancer. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone, live on the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophiedel.net. Blessings to you.